What is up guys, Alex here from technoclass.com coming to you with an unscripted unboxing of the Cherry Mobile Android One G1. This is a new Android One device from Google in cooperation with Cherry Mobile giving you the latest Android updates. This is running on Android 5.1 Lollipop and of course Android One devices get their updates almost immediately direct, directly from Google. Now this bumps up the specs to, of Android One to HD Dragon Trail display and a Snapdragon 6 a 410 64-bit uh, processor. So great specs. The price of this guy is 5,899. We are gonna unbox it right now. We'll see you guys in just a bit. Alrighty, so let's unbox this bad boy. Now, this was launched yesterday by Cherry Mobile, and as you can see, the box is uh, lime green and white. You know, that's sort of the colors of Android One. You know, I'm, I'm, fan, I'm definitely a big fan of Android One because, you know, it's got the uh, the stock Android feel, and you're, you're getting great specs off of this guy for quite a for an affordable price. Now, as you can see, this must have been opened before because the plastic just came off really quickly. Now, looking at this phone, it does feel a little bit like the Cherry Mobile Flare, especially the back, you know, that's the classic Cherry Mobile Flare back, even though there's a bit of sort of silver looking uh, lines over on the sides, it does feel a little bit like the Flare. We're gonna look for the battery right now, that comes right off. Somebody must have used this charger. And let's look for that, here's the battery. It's pretty hefty. And this is rated at 2,500 milliamp hours. Let's get that in focus if we can. 2,500. All right, so here is the back, inside the back of Cherry Mobile Android One G1. And as you can see, there's two SIM slots. Both of them are capable of LTE. All right, so now the phone is booting over there in the corner. We have this little black charger. The black charger gives us 1,000 milliamps, so that's Pretty standard charger here we have a you know your typical cherry mobile uh, headphones and a g1 user manual funny enough there is another g1 from cherry mobile the g1 watch phone which we reviewed ah, i guess one and a half years ago this is pretty cool there's a lot of uh paperwork here i think they're all in english yep so about 30 pages black and white with some pictures and yeah, pretty good. All right, guys, so here is the Android One G1, Cherry Mobile Android One G1. And as you can see, it is running Android 5.1 Lollipop out of the box. And actually, I'll check for any more updates later on. See, as you can see, 5.1.1. Uh, I don't know if we can focus. There we go, 5.1.1. This is the uh, 720p Dragon Trail display, looking very nice, actually. And uh, yeah, actually, it's uh, nice, so smooth interface although i don't think it is fully 60 frames per second right now then again i am installing some updates as well one thing i want to mention is uh, like i mentioned before it does feel a lot like the cherry mobile flares and here is the uh, flare x in comparison the textures on these guys are pretty similar even though the sides of the g1 has that sort of silverish uh line two lines of silver things uh the thickness and the build quality and the plastics still feel pretty much identical. Of course, the G1 is running Lollipop and the Flare X is not. Anyway, we will move on to that in a little bit, but a little bit, but we are going to check out the parts of the phone first. All right, so top of the front of the display here, you can see there is a circular speaker grill that looks kind of cool because it's a circle. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a cool you know, shape for a speaker grill. As you can see, there's the uh, speaker holes right there. Over there is the, uh, I believe a five megapixel front facing camera. And I don't know where the uh, sensitive, notice, I'm sorry, the uh, proximity and light sensitivity sensors are. On the bottom, there are actually no capacitive buttons on the actual bezel because the capacitive buttons are right here. Of course, this is running Android One. That's why it prefers the on-screen buttons. That's back, home, and recent apps. All right, so all over the around the uh, the phone is this sort of two lines of silver, which kind of sort of cuts into each other. It kind of makes this sort of almost silver side, but actually it's actually just two lines of silver with maybe a little bit of black in between or shiny black in between. 
This actually kind of reminds me of the Galaxy S5. I'll show you that in a bit. Here's the micro SD, micro USB port for charging data transfer. There's some speaker grills on the bottom. And here is the right side. It's actually kind of hard to focus on this shiny material. All right, so on the right side, surprisingly very, very hard to spot with the naked eye, or at least with this me looking through the camera. Here is the power button and the volume rocker. Kind of nice uh, that they're sort of hidden from plain view. Uh, on top, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and looks like a noise cancellation microphone over there. Probably the bottom microphone is somewhere hidden underneath these speaker grills. All right, so funny enough, and I'm sure it's not by on purpose, but the sides of the phone, this is the G1 on top and the Galaxy S5 on the bottom. The sides of the phone look kind of like the Galaxy S5. Of course, the Galaxy S5 has a bit more uh, silvery sides, but the uh, Cherry Mobile Android One G1 has the same sort of texture, you know, steepled sort of design with a little bit of the middle there. But of course, it's a little bit darker. Anyway, it's just kind of funny that it looks kind of the same. All right, so now we're looking at the back of the phone. And as you can see, like I said before, it does look and feel a lot like a flare device in terms of texture and color. But of course, this is an Android One device. There's a Cherry Mobile logo right there. Android One logo uh, on the bottom here. Soft touch plastic, black soft touch plastic, kind of like dark gray to me too. And here is a 13 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash. I do like the shiny uh, glass mega camera module right there. It does bring a little bit pop to the uh, the back of the phone. It kind of gives, takes your attention to it. Anyway, that's it for the back. All right, so overall, I think the design is pretty utilitarian, pretty good in terms of you know what you want out of a phone it's not you know made of metal it's not doesn't have any fancy curves or anything fancy design points especially the front it's pretty basic front of course a lot of the flares have a basic front uh, and that probably works to its advantage too because once you turn on the display it looks like a good simple classic design um, I do like the uh, the sort of circular speaker grill. That's kind of cool. Uh, on the back, I think the back is the best feature because it sort of curves a little bit. And I like that curve. It makes it sort of, you know, kind of a newer designed flare. Uh, the sides though, the two silvery lines sides, it does remind me a little bit of the uh, Galaxy S5, which may or may not be good. I'm not, you know, I don't know if I like it or not but I do like its handling. It feels good in the hand. It's actually kind of lightweight, at least compared to the Flare X. Of course, the Flare X has a larger battery, but still, it feels good in the hand. Uh, it's kind of not laggy, of course, because it's running Android One. We'll be checking the UI out in just a bit, but yeah, it's a pretty utilitarian kind of, you know, it's plastic, so you can't really get much out of this, but at least it looks good. All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, we have installed some apps. We changed the wallpaper and all that. We updated our all our applications, you know, our Google apps and all that. And now we have at least actually we've been using this guy for almost a day now, more probably more than a day now. And we can give you some impressions of uh, the user interface. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about right now, the user interface. All right, so as you can see, we are running Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. And this is no ordinary, you know, version of Lollipop. This is an Android One version of Lollipop directly from Google. Now, Android One devices, of course, like I said before, they have, uh, they are being, they're going to be updated by Google themselves. You don't, uh, the, this is not a skin by another manufacturer or anything. So <laughs> this is me failing at this game. This uh, Lollipop, oh, I got one point. Uh, this is not a skin made by another manufacturer, which means you're going to get uh, Google updates a uh, minimum of two years. That's their guarantee. Now, as far as the, uni the user interface itself, this is as smooth as you can get it. Now, of course, we are running on the Snapdragon 410 processor with uh, two gigs of RAM, and that should be enough, especially, especially for uh stock android however it does you know it's not fully 60 frames per second in my opinion it's probably around 40 50 frames per second which is still loads loads better than other user interfaces i'm gonna give this guy a rank a plus on the user interface scale if you want to know what that is you should check out my uh, smartphone database i've been giving out 
uh, user interface speedy, you know, UI uh, fl fluidness rank there. Anyway, as you can see, your swiping around is pretty smooth. You know, on the left side is the Google Now launcher. That is pretty normal. You know, this is as stock as you can get it pretty much as you can see everything is uh you know all the all the icons are are stock uh the pull down menu is stock oh so yeah this is stock in uh, stock android i don't know what else to tell you it's pretty much what you should really strive for because of its smoothness i really like you know stock android you know me i'm a big fan of this this kind of ui because it's fast. Now the main difference between this and other gallery apps, you usually are able to see other folders on your device, but the Photos app from Google defaults to this, you know, just showing pictures from uh, your uh, camera and your um, cloud photos. Now if you wanna see other folders, you have to click device folders, which is kind of weird. You know, that is uh, kind of an adjustment because it doesn't normally show up. Pictures from other folders do not normally show up. So if you wanna take, you know, screenshots like this it actually requires a little bit more uh, uh, movement you know you have to swipe over there and then go to device folders you will not be able to see this folder view uh, by default but anyway as you can see we have a 21,251 uh, points in and tutu and actually we had time to test the battery as you can see the battery gives us five hours and three minutes of work performance that is about par pretty pretty good actually not bad uh, I think the Lollipop UI is helping it quite a bit because of all this uh, stock interface here. Uh, it helps with the battery life. That's not bad. 2,500 milliamp hour battery isn't bad either. So yeah, I really love the stock interface. It's very, very smooth. I I can't stress that enough. You should look at the uh, the smartphone database I've created. I'm giving this a rank of A plus, A plus on the uh, the smoothness scale. That's uh, the only thing that's higher than this is the S rank and the SS rank and the triple S rank uh, that I have given smartphones. So this is very, very smooth. And that's amazing considering this is only 5,999 pesos. I've been stressing, I haven't been, I don't know if I haven't been stressing this enough, but stock Android is super smooth. And I don't know why other brands just don't want to use stock Android. That's, it's just, I don't know why. You know, if you want to see a comparison of a non-stock Android that is pretty, you know, very uh, light, lightly skinned versus a stock Android, here's an example. This is the Chair Mobile Flare X, and let me just scroll around. As you can see, immediately, it's not as smooth. It doesn't follow my finger as perfectly. Even pressing the uh, app drawer button, it takes a little while. You know, it's not as fast. The, the frame rate is not as good either or i obviously this uh video is only at 30 frames per second so you can't really see the in-between frames that i'm talking about but hopefully you'll see the difference well with scrolling with uh, uh swiping and all that as you can see there now stock android gives you all that speed in everything pretty much scrolling swiping uh, pull down and everything. So that's the major difference here. All right, so let's take a look at the camera of the Cherry Mobile One G1, Android One G1. This is a another stock Android interface. Uh, looking at this, it's actually you know one of the better camera interfaces. It's actually kind of a little bit too simple for some people. So if you tap this button right here, it shows up a couple of options. Let me try and get that in focus. There you go. You can change the front facing and back facing, flash, HDR, some uh, some of the uh, guidelines, and you can even change. Your, you, this is an advanced option. You can change your exposure compensation. Taking a picture is pretty simple. You tap and then you press the button. And actually, I was quite impressed with the camera shots of this guy in most situations. So actually quite impressed with the 13 megapixel camera of the Android One G1. Now, over on the uh, left side, if you swipe over there, you can see you can have, uh, you can try to do some photosphere, some panoramas, lens blur effects, uh, or you can just take your standard uh, 13 megapixel camera shots or 1080p video, which makes this uh, cam uh, this phone one of the rarer kind of devices in this price range that can take 1080p video. And as you can see, the video is actually pretty good as well. So there's not much to complain about. Uh, the front facing camera is pretty good as well. Let's try, if you swipe over here, you can see that my previous pictures are here. As you can see, there's very 
good detail even though I just did that kind of snapshot effect you know I didn't actually try and get it in focus I was looking at my camera here's a dog pretty good detail as you can see right there these are just snapshots you know snapshot snapshots this is a front facing camera uh, it has a 5 megapixel front facing camera uh, pretty good detail now one thing I want to mention I think the blues are a little low in the display of the actual phone uh, which is why I, that's that goes into my next observation which I will show you in just a bit but there you go there's some really good pictures actually from the front and rear facing camera all right so let's talk about that thing that I mentioned about blue because I see this display seems to uh, kind of not pick up blue or try to display blue or maybe the the saturation on blue is not so high all right so here we are comparing it with the flare X and as you can see the first item is actually white and the second item is blue onwards down there these are all blue I'm gonna click on one and back into it just to show you the difference between white and light blue of the flare X and white and light blue of the cherry mobile g1 android one g1 as you can see you can definitely it's much easier to see light blue on the flare x than the cherry mobile android one g1 which is kind of interesting i think it's a display uh thing not necessarily a ui I'm, i know we're talking about the ui but the reason i'm talking about this is i was looking at the pictures i took with this device and i thought it seemed to lack there's a lot of uh, notifications right now. I thought it seemed to lack a little bit of blue when I was looking at the pictures, but apparently it wasn't lacking blue when I put it in my computer. It was just the display. It was just that the display seemed to lack a little bit more saturation in blue. All right, guys, we are back, and as you can see, we're playing a game called uh, Modern Combat 5 here on the uh, Cherry Mobile Android One G1. Now. Considering this processor is actually a Snapdragon 410, it's not necessarily the uh, the most capable gaming processor out there. It's a good 64-bit processor, but as far as a uh, game CPU or whatever GPU is concerned, this wouldn't be your first choice when playing games. And uh, if I remember correctly, the Antutu score is 21,251, which isn't the highest score out there. We have some 40,000 and two to 50 and 60 70 thousand and two to sometimes too but as you can see uh, the game runs decently uh okay uh, as you can see on the snapdragon 410 this is actually water but on the snapdragon 410 this the water is uh opaque not transparent or semi-transparent like in other processing packages as you can see the uh the water in this river uh is opaque and green I haven't actually went in the water. Can I go in the water here? I nope. Oh, can I? Nope. Nope. All right. So that is the uh, gaming performance. It's not bad. It's not bad. The uh, the the uh, the speakers are easily easily muffled on the right side. So which is a little bit of an unfortunate occurrence. Maybe they should have moved that uh, speaker grill in the front because there's no buttons over there, anyways. All right, so that's the gaming performance of the Snapdragon 410 on the Android One G1. All right, guys, so I think that's about it for a quick unboxing of the Cherry Mobile Android One G1. Now, I'm quite happy with this device, even though it's not the best for gaming. Of course, it's a Snapdragon 410, which is pretty much just a Snapdragon 400 turned into a 64-bit version with some upgraded internals and, you know, a more uh, smaller I believe nano uh, manufacturing or whatever you want to call it but I think the camera is excellent here probably better than flare X I want to do a comparison eventually but yeah the software is a pure Android and pure Android is top-notch in my book it's number one uh, you know five points out of five whatever it's super smooth of course it's just this this is running on the snapdragon 410 processor which means it probably isn't all 60 frames per second but still the ui snappiness is what you want you know ui is 90 percent of what you use your smartphone for you know you're never ever not going to use the ui of a smartphone and if it's not snappy then you're screwed all right uh so uh yeah i think the cameras are great I think it's a great price, $5,899. It's not the, uh, you won't buy it for the gaming performance, but at least 
It's 5999, you get 16 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM, pretty decent design. It's a little subdued, but you know, it's Android One. Uh, and probably the one of the best features of Android One is the continuous uh, Google Android update. So there you go. Alex from technoclass.com here. Thanks very much for watching. That has been a quick sort of, well, it's, it wasn't that quick, but it was a quick sort of uh, unboxing of the Cherry Mobile Android One G1. It should come with a free eight gigabyte micro SD. I don't think I got one. Uh, they're, they didn't give me any uh, micro SD, but if you buy one, you should get that free extra eight gigabyte micro SD. There you go, Alex from technoclass.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.